All right, this is my 1967 BSA Thunderbolt. Um, it's been rebuilt by an ace mechanic named Frank Del Monte down in, uh, in Phoenix. Um, I got the bike from a guy who, when he got it, it was all original, and it had a completely rebuilt motor. He put about 400 miles on the new motor, new rebuilt motor, and then he decided to do a frame-up restoration. Uh, he only got as far as respoking the wheels with stainless steel spokes, which is really nice, and painting the frame and remounting the engine. And then I bought it from him with as a rolling chassis, so to speak, but a big box of parts. So I took it down to the mechanic in Phoenix and paid him to uh, take about five or six months to completely put this back together. Uh, it has a lot of new things. It has new tires, new stainless steel spokes, new old stock headers and exhaust. It's been repainted. Uh, rebuilt carburetor. The engine, of course, has about 400 miles on a rebuilt engine. Um, and completely rewired from the ground up by a really a guy that really knows what he's doing. Uh, all the seals, gaskets, rubber mounts, all those things have been replaced. There's nothing that is, you know, 50 years old that's going to wear out because all those types of parts have been replaced um, with new. Now, I also have about two, a thumb drive or a flash drive with over 200 pictures detailing the progress of the rebuild uh, with, you know, descriptions and so forth. And I have a four-page invoice with all the labor and parts broken down that was done to this bike. So it's complete. Now, again, it's not an original bike because there's all new parts on it. Um, the only thing I can say that uh, uh, the brakes are, are new. Um, and if you look at the flash drive with the pictures, you'll see how uh, the mechanic had a vapor blaster. And any part that was reusable, he completely cleaned and put in the vapor blaster and fixed it. And any part that wasn't, he replaced with a new part. So it's been completely rebuilt. Uh, I'm trying to think. There's really nothing else I can tell you. Oh, the original speedometer uh, broke, the Smith's speedometer. Um, they wanted like $500 for a rebuilt one, but uh, I didn't want to pay that. Everything else was done, and they were even hard to find. So I just put a GPS speedometer on there temporarily. But I do have pictures of the original one when it was rebuilt that shows it had 400 miles on the rebuilt motor. So, but the numbers on the frame and engine match. This is, you know, it's not like it was taken from different parts. So, and I, that's about it. Um, it runs great. It shifts smooth as almost a motor, modern motorcycle. The shifting is really smooth. Has a lot of torque. Um, and it usually starts on the first kick. Sometimes it doesn't, but we'll give that a try and. Give it a cold start and see if she starts up. All right, I'm going to do a cold start now. You'll see I headers are cold. Turn the petcocks on. There's two. One on this side. Pull that out. And tickle the carburetor to get some gas flowing. There it goes. Turn on the key. Yeah, we'll see how she does. Thank you.